the first time that I saw Rauschenberg's work um, is really lost in the fog of memory. Um, I, I know it was sometime you know, before I was 20, kind of an art hero for me. And, and the reason I went to see Merce Cunningham, which is the only dance I'd ever seen in the, my early years, um, was because I wanted to see Bob Rauschenberg's work. When I worked with Merce Cunningham, I had to reproduce some of Bob's lighting designs, and so I really respected him. And I was kind of overwhelmed always by his prodigious talent and, and his endless creativity and, and so productive. He did sets, lights, and costume, and the whole visual look which has also inspired me to want to do the same thing. I thought if he could do it, so could I. So I did that for a while. For Travelog, uh, Bob supplied a bunch of costume accessories and props and set pieces. I do remember he felt that Merce was overusing something in a way, and he said, oh, let's get him, let's get him to, no, this is too fussy, let's get him to stop that. <laughs> So, I mean, that's where I get picked up, the fact that he was not shy about giving his input. Oh, no, <laughs> not so much. <clears throat> I was thinking not, this is like too much. <laughs> too much draping. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think we can't do that. Well, when I was invited to collaborate on, on this Rauschenberg show, it was a, a foregone conclusion that, that, for me that I would do it because Rauschenberg was my favorite artist and had been always. I mean, what, what luck for me uh, because it's a chance to you know, see the work a lot and close and I certainly wouldn't have had that reaction if it was someone else. So it just seemed like a, a perfect thing for me to be doing. <laughs> And then it's really been an eye-opener for me just about exhibition design and how to think about a huge exhibition. Well, I think we should test it in space, though, just to well, see. Well, I, have, I, brought, I brought my computer because I have everything laid out on my computer, so. Right. I'm very conscious of, um, in my own participation in collaborations with dancers, and I'm using video to not upstage the dance. And, and that's the continual problem, because it's very easy to do. And I thought he had the, he must have had the same feeling. He, wanted, he didn't want to take over, because the dancing is beautiful and that the dancers are right there. So I thought he made the perfect set. Yeah, I'm just wondering if, if you want to like put something on the floor to make it even, but maybe Actually, not. Actually, the colors, the colors on the floor are pretty good. Right, that's what it's, well, it's sort of a <laughs> compliment. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I love it, actually, I really love it. I think people are just going to stay here mesmerized. <laughs> Bob Rauschenberg really set an example for collaborators about how you could be actively engaged with other artists and other artists in other media. I mean, I think of my work as influenced by the spirit of Bob's work. Nine Evenings is an event that took place in 1966, and it was the first time that there was a major collaboration between technology, the, the engineers at Bell Labs, and artists. Billy Kluver, who organized it, selected a handful of very well-known artists at the time and invited them to collaborate with engineers. The events were major New York City art events that everyone went to, I suppose, and they took place over nine evenings and ten artists, and I guess there were several events per evening. Everyone approached it differently, and it was quite, when I look at the documentation, everything, raw, <laughs> raw technology, raw ideas, really the beginning of something. Part of my my mission with, um, um, with my own work is I've done a huge body of work of uh, films and videos and, I've, and I'm now interested in showing them in exhibition spaces and so I kind of explode them and make them a walkthrough experience. So I approach this the same way, is it's a body of material that 
you want people to experience something about, and the documentation is kind of poor. It's very interesting, but how to make it something that you want to look at, and so that's sort of the challenge. Well, I don't know. I, I see things that, you know, the way I see them as a, as a video, you know, time-based media maker. And, and I've also, because of my, all my experience uh, working on the stage, I have a theatrical sense of, you know, how you can do a complete environment and, and what lighting brings. I mean, I, all the elements, because I've worked so long in collaboration with dance and on the stage. To me, the work doesn't seem old. You know, it's an example that you can make work that lives on. And just the whole process has been really interesting of making an exhibition and seeing how an exhibition is made and all the care that goes into it. And it's been life-changing for me, so.